Recently, I made a video on the channel going over who I believe was the strongest Pokemon in the Kanto region. And as I mentioned in that video, that was part one of a series where I take a look at the weakest and strongest Pokemon in each region. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at who is the strongest Pokemon in the Johto region. Now, like mentioned in the last video too, I won't be going over any Mega Revolutions or Legendaries because it's just kind of unfair on everybody else. I'm also only going to be picking five Pokemon out of all of the ones because there's quite a few to go over. Now, of course, this is all my own opinion at the end of the day, and it's completely cool if you guys disagree with what I say in the video. Don't hesitate, though, to drop a comment down below about the video and if you found it interesting or not. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, too, to show your support, and I'll be sure to bring out a new video very shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date and follow my Twitter to updates about the channel. Both of those links can be found in the description down below. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video, and I really hope that you guys enjoy. So starting things off and claiming the number 5 spot in today's top 5 video is Scizor. Now Scizor is a book steel type Pokemon which is a very 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 nice typing because it is only weak to fire type attacks. Yes it's 4 times weak to him but only having 1 weakness is very nice. Not only that though it's also resistant to normal, grass by 4, ice, immune to poison, resistant to psychic, bug, dragon steel and fairy as well which is a very very nice trade off in my opinion. Also gets the ability technician which if you didn't know what that does it basically boosts the power of moves that are usually base power 60 or below by 50% so moves like bullet punch on sizzle are going to be shooting up by 50% which is very nice sizzle also rocks a very nice attack stat total of 130 with 100 physical defense as well yes it only has 65 speed but you know it gets a lot of priority in like bullet punch and stuff which is very very nice and yes it does have a mega revolution which makes it even better but of course we're not going over those in today's video but even without the mega revolution sizzle is still a very very good pokemon I love the design of it. It's such a, such a, such a cool Pokemon. And of course, you can rock up with like Swords Dance. It also gets X's or Night Slash, gets double hit. It gets uh, agility as well. If you do want to run a kind of nice cheeky little speed set on this Pokemon, a lot of people don't do it, obviously, because the speed stat is very bad on this Pokemon. Egg moves, again, it gets Reversal, gets Silver Wind, Steel Wind, gets Counter, even gets Defog as well, which, as we all know, is very nice to get rid of those pesky little hazards, such as Stealth Rocks and Toxic Spikes and stuff like that. Also gets Knock. Off. I mean, I don't even need to be the guy that tells you how good that is in the competitive scene. And again, get a superpower, U-turn as well for that switch initiative, even gets baton pass. So if you did want to do that kind of set on this sizzle, get up a source dance, then give it to someone else, I don't know why you would, but it's just a thing that you can do. Overall, even without its Mega Revolution, Sizzle is still a very, very nice Pokemon. It's really cool, it hits really hard, has barely any weaknesses, which is why it claims the number five spot in today's top five video. Coming up next, we have Ampharos, one of my favorite electric type Pokemon. Now, I do believe if you played through Johto, at some point, you would have had an Ampharos on your team. You get it very, very early in the game as a Mareep. It evolves really early, and it's just a very, very nice electric type Pokemon on team. And yes, Ampharos does get a Mega Revolution, just like Sizzle. But again, we're not going over Mega Revolutions in this video, guys, which is why I'm not going to be going over that side of this Pokemon. Anyway, Ampharos is a very nice ability in Static, which obviously can, you know, do paralysis to anything that touches you with like a physical type attack. Being an electric type as well, it is only weak to ground, which is very nice. Obviously, it is uh, resistant to electric, flying, and steel. And now Ampharos has stats kind of like all across the board. It is very slow with only 55 speed, but it's a pretty bulky Pokemon with 90 HP, 75 physical attack, 85 physical defense, 90 special defense, but then a whopping 115 special attack as well. So not only is this Pokemon pretty bulky, yes, it is slow, but it also hits very very hard as well and when you pair that with things like thunderbolt or discharge it's going to be doing a lot of damage also gets power gem as well for taking out you know flying types or fire types or anything like that you know it's just nice extra moves that you can put on this pokemon also gets cotton guard as well which is very nice it learns thunder punch when it evolves which i've never really understood i don't know why it doesn't just learn discharge when it evolves because thunder punch yes it's a good move but with that physical attack stat of only 75 when you got that 115 special attack it just makes sense to give it a special type attack but 
that's what happens. Anyway, also gets moves like Electric Terrain as well, Eerie Impulse, gets Dragon Pulse obviously for its Mega Revolution by Move Tutor, gets Signal Beam as well, gets Outrage again for that Dragon type that it will get when it Mega Revolves. Also gets a very nice move in Heal Bell as well, very, very nice. Gets Fire Punch as well, just gets a lot of punch moves. Gets Volt Switch, very nice again for Switch Initiative. It gets Focus Blast, it just gets a lot of really, really nice special attacking moves and it's just a generally a very, very good Pokemon and like I say, it's pretty much a staple on your Johto teams because there weren't loads of really good electric type Pokemon in Johto that you got this early on. I think you got Marie like after the first gym or something like that, which is very, very nice, you know. I don't think you can get it in Crystal, but you know, in Gold and Silver, you can get it. Just a very good Pokemon. I'm a big fan of it. You know, when he got his Mega Revolution, obviously even better, but just as normal Amphros, very good Pokemon, which is why it claims number four spot in today's top five video. Coming up next and claiming the number three spot in today's top five video is everybody's worst nightmare with an Eevee light. It is, of course, Porygon 2. Now, if you've never gone up against the Porygon 2 in the competitive scene with an Eevee light, then you haven't lived the horrors that the rest of us have. Porygon 2 is already super bulky. It has 85 HP, 90 physical defense, and 95 special defense. When you whack an Eevee light on that, because obviously Eevee light just gives you more of a defense boost if you do have an extra evolution, which obviously is Porygon Z for this Pokemon. Porygon 2 gets even more defense boost and not only that it also has a hundred and five special attack stat as well It is a normal type though, which means it is only weak to fighting is immune to go So I guess it doesn't really get any stab on these moves But that bulk that this Pokemon gets is ridiculous and of course Why wouldn't it get reliable recovery as well in recover just makes everybody's life even better when taking on this Pokemon People also really like running the move discharge on this Pokemon to get that paralysis chance again People like using tri attack because that is stab and of course you get the freeze the burn the paralysis anything like that which is also very nice gets thunderbolt shadow ball gets thunder gets blizzard ice beam there's so many different sets you can run on this pokemon and when you know you're going to be taking hits left right and center because of the sheer bulk after evil light on porygon 2 it's just a horrible pokemon to go up against it also gets pain split as well so even if you want to get like some health back and take some off them you've come to the right place with porygon 2 but i guess recover is just the more reliable option because you just know you're going to get that health back every time and you, you can just get some really horrible sets in this Pokemon. You can either be toxic someone or, you know, burn them or something like that and then just completely stall them out with Recover. It's just a very horrible set to run, but it can be ran on this Pokemon. It's just a very, very annoying Pokemon to go up against. We all know the horrors that is this Pokemon, but it's still very good at what it does in the competitive scene, which is why it claims the number three spot in today's top five video. Coming up next and claiming the number two spot in today's top five video is Blissey, another very annoying Pokemon that people just do not like going up against. We already spoke about how annoying Eevee Light Chansey was in the last video where I went over the strongest Kanto Pokemon. And you already know in the Johto Pokemon, Chansey's big older sister is of course taking the number two spot. Serene Grace, natural cure for its abilities, but that's not even the worst point. The 255 HP in this Pokemon's arsenal. Not only that, 135 special defense as well and still hits pretty hard with a special attacks total of 75. I mean, I don't even need to go into why this Pokemon is annoying. It just is. We all know how horrible this Pokemon is to go up against. It's got reliable recovery, just like Chansey, like I went over in the last episode. Seismic Toss, Counter, if you want to put that on this Pokemon. It's just, I, I don't even know how I could say anything more. It's just a very horrible Pokemon to go up against. And yes, I know there's not really much to say about it, but what can you say about it? Soft Boil, toxic whatever you want it can even get light screens up aromatherapy counter like i say it's just so bulky it can take any special type attack yes the physical event at 10 is horrible but you can easily you know do something about that and just sort that out you can get a very very high physical defensive pokemon to you know really counteract with the the blissey and really do well but serene grace natural cure's ability you can switch out get paralysis off you or just run aromatherapy whatever floats your boat it's the very annoying pokemon i don't like blissey but it's very good in the competitive scene just because of what it does which is why it claims the number two spot in today's top five video. Finishing things off though and claiming the number one spot in today's top five video is Tyranitar, the pseudo legendary of the Johto region. Having that rock and dark typing, yes, it is got quite a few weaknesses such as water, grass, fighting, ground, bug, steel, and fairy, but it does also resist normal fire, poison, flying, ghost, dark, and is immune to psychic. But the stats in this Pokemon is very good. Yes, it's not the fastest Pokemon out with only 61 speed, but has 100 HP, 134 physical attack, 110 physical defense, 95 special attack 
attack, 100 special defense as well, and obviously has the sand stream ability which boosts its special defense up anyway, so you kind of already got that going for you. Yes, it does have a Mega Revolution, but as I've already said, guys, we're not going to Mega Revolutions in today's video. You just kind of have to remember that. But Tyranitar has such an amazing move pool. Ice Fang, Thunder Fang, Fire Fang, Crunch, Earthquake, gets Dark Pool, Stone Edge. A lot of people do like running special attacking Tyranitars with like Fire Blast and, you know, Blizzard and stuff like that. It's just what people like doing. But of course, it is a mostly physical type attacking Pokemon with 134 physical attack. You know, you're going to be risking a lot going from 134 physical attack to 95 special attack if you are going to go with a special Titar. But it's just such a good Pokemon. You know, it's a pseudo legendary. You can Dragon Dance with it. You can Outrage, Curse, whatever floats your boat. It's just a very, very nice Pokemon. Yes, that fighting weakness of four times isn't great. It does have a lot of weaknesses, but it does outclass a lot of Pokemon in the Johto region, which is why I do believe it is the best non-legendary Mega Evolution Pokemon in Generation 2. And of course, it is an opinionated video. You guys may disagree, but that's just my number one spot. But with that though, it does wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. If you did enjoy the video though, please do leave a like. I would really appreciate it. Like I said at the start of the video, I would also love to hear your guys' opinions too on the subject, so be sure to leave them in the comment section below. I do have a couple top fives coming onto your screen in a second, so be sure to give them a watch if you do have the time. And also go check out the Kanto video that we did last time, the strongest and weakest of that region if you did enjoy this video. I do also do daily live streams on the channel as well, so if you like anything Pokemon, you've come to the right place. That is everything from me though guys, so thank you so much for watching, have an amazing rest of your day, and until next time guys, peace.